Hello everyone and welcome to a mini version of Jimpooty Jams, the only podcast that has two names. That's not true. It's we're based on Jimpoochie Heroes. <laughs> the only gotcha that has two different ways to pronounce its name, Jimpooty or Jimpoochie, depending on who you are. And I'm here with Zenrun. Hello everybody. And we're here for a very quick uh, episode because it's just going to be all 100% focused on Bakugo. Uh, because he did get released like literally like we knew he was coming but we didn't know what he <clears> did um so we don't want to do a full episode because the rest of the my heroes we can i can at least say it here now um barring what happens in the upcoming arc these characters are all from an arc i actively hate so i don't have that much interest in it because other than one or two reveals <laughs> I think this arc could literally be... Are they all... Oh, they are all from the yeah. Class 1A versus Class 1B arc, which yeah. is like the worst arc in My Hero. Yeah, that's Easily. that's tough. I would actually put it up there for, in terms of the 2000s or 2010 era, era the one of the worst arcs in Shonen in general. Yeah, it's, it is maybe the biggest waste of time of, like, anything. It's unbelievable how bad it Easily. is. Easily easily and if you want to come in here and tell me that most recent black clover arc is worse than this one i would fucking dare you to tell me that less happens than that one if that's true then black clover really is what everyone says it is because if it's worse than this <laughs> well, one well okay people have been telling me about it and it is pretty bad apparently like the the super big bad guy shows up beats the shit out of asta and then asta wins in like 10 chapters later okay that's pretty bad but at least yeah. that's a and big then deal. apparently there was a big war arc that they were in, so it was like a full-on war battle arc, uh-huh. and a bunch of characters were like, that's it, they're dead, and then they just got healed, and they're fine. Okay, that's pretty bad, so maybe it's not as bad as that one. Maybe it's depending on what you were expecting versus what you got. Maybe there's an entire like way of balancing the system, where I feel like this is just a very bad arc that was coming off of a manga that really didn't have any bad arcs. I guess up until that point, like that's the first one I can really think of as someone who has been a fan of my hero for a very long time. This is the one arc that I actually look at and go like, this is fucking rough. And I like it basically yeah. everything. So else. I, I loved my hero up through the beginning of that arc. And after that, I was like, this shit is so boring. Supposedly not reading it weekly makes it better. Like mm. uh, it makes it not feel like it's dragging quite as bad, but obviously mm. I read it weekly at the time, and yeah, I can't same. I can't unexperience that, right? S- same, but like probably the ending of Demon Slayer, to be honest. Yeah, like you, it, it's probably better all at once, but when you've experienced it weekly, you can't like unlive that experience. Yeah. Um, it's God. <laughs> It's so bad, dude. It's It's so bad. bad. It's terrible. So with that in mind, that's why we're only really going to be talking about Bakugo, even though I like some of the characters that they've mentioned. But let's go over what Bakugo does real quick. So tell us what he does, Zen, because you're usually the one that breaks it down for us. Let me pull him back up. I had him up, and then for some reason I saw Jujutsu Kaisen was shredding, and I was like, ooh, and I clicked on it, and I (laughs) I lost the page. (laughs) The My Hero... All right. So his ultimate attack does 500% to one enemy, places a bomb on all enemies that explodes after one turn for an additional 500% damage. For three turns, boost his attack by 14%, and for one turn, reduce his damage received by 1900. His buddy skill is to convert a random bubble to a skill, convert a total of five blue, yellow, and heart bubbles to reds. For two turns, guard 21% of all... Oh, what, what just happened there? Uh oh. He members by 25%. His passive is reduce the number of turns of bubble ineffectiveness for this unit by 3. Boost his attack by 12%. When your HP is 80% or less, reduce the number of bubbles required to create a skill for him by 1. And at the start of his turn, mm-hmm. if the enemy is a tank, guard 22% of incoming damage. Okay. Uh, you were lost there for a brief second, but it was because of something I did, but it's fine. You got the ve- the vast majority of what he does. And he is also, did you mention that he is a uh, fire class? The, the red? Uh, he is red. Yeah. yeah. Yep. And his ultimate is called explode a pult, which is a pretty good. Yes. Name for it. Uh, I don't know how to feel about this guy. I think I, when I actually looked at Bakugo and I saw what he did and I was like, I don't fully understand where he can be used in an effective way. 
Um, so I his definitely... ult is the same kind mm-hmm. of ult as uh, Uzui's. Because mm-hmm. he also does the 500% with the 500% bomb. Mm-hmm. But Uzui gives 14% ult instead of 14% attack, which that part is fine. But Bakugo reduces incoming damage by 1900, which is nothing in PvP mm-hmm. anyway. And Uzui gives you 30% Legend Summon instead, Ooh, which is like yeah. way better. That is he's he's better. similar to Uzui, but not as good. He's kind of like a, a lesser version of Uzui then. In Pretty much, ways. yeah. Like Uzui is just better. Yeah, I can definitely see him maybe being a little bit better for PV in that instance. But actually, Bubble and Effectiveness, I forget, that's not what Roger has, right? Roger has Bubble Protection. Ro- yeah, Roger pr- pr- protects skill bubbles. Okay. Hmm. So how do you think he would do in PvP then? Because you're someone who's definitely more I don't, PvP oriented. I, I think he's pretty good. Like mm-hmm. the the bomb itself in PvP is really strong. Um because the bomb follows type advantage. Mm-hmm. So if Bakugo fights somebody and then the next turn a green unit gets exploded on, the bomb does super effective mm-hmm. damage. So it's it's increased damage. Of course that works in reverse, which means if it blows up on a blue, they take less damage, but still. It is a little bit um, more thought in prop and there's yeah. a little bit more thought into it which is nice it's like and an then added level plus strategy. like because the passive boost to the attack is three turns that means that it will last through all of pvp if he's your first attacker mm-hmm. so the attack boost will stay through the entire match which is nice um his buddy skill is not that good unless you're for some reason running a bunch of red like a full red team in pvp which why are you doing that yeah not um, really much support for that yeah no, I don't know why you're doing that. Um, and his passive is pretty good because, like, reduced cost to make a skill bubble in PvP is pretty good because um, skill bubbles are a big deal. And then the the bonus to like guarding damage if the enemy is a tank is like not you. He he feels almost more like a PVE unit designed to kill tanks, but eh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Uzui be. is better. <laughs> Uzui is better. <laughs> This if, right, if you're gonna use a bomb right. unit in in PvP, use Uzui. Yeah, I think that would probably be making the most sense to me. I think it'd be a little bit different if there was like a huge like green tank unit that would just completely be devastated. Like it's kind of one of those things of like if there was a unit that was specifically designed that I can think of, but there's actually not many greens used in a PvP setting usually. Like I tried uh, it's one. like. There are some. Uh, you got like Uzui is an obvious one. The new Asta is all over the place. That's true. Um, Hashirama gets used here and there, uh, just because he's like a fat boy. Yeah. Um, Nightmare Luffy. Yes, of course. Yeah, Nightmare Luffy. Uh, and sometimes the volleyball boys, but not that often these days. No, it feels like the slot four has been kind of been used by different units now. It seems like less people are using the the. What are those units called? The the, is the it reversals. Counting? Yeah, reversals. It feels like less people are using reversal units now. Well, the he and Kilo are just so good in that last slot that like fuck, you know? Yeah, they're like yeah, they, built to monopolize the fourth slot. They are really good in that last slot, so it kind of makes sense that there's there would be a slight change in that. I've actually seen them used more on the third slot than the fourth slot, if they have one of them. But yeah. That's Bakugo for the most part. It is our first limited Bakugo, and as someone pointed out to me, Bakugo actually made it to a solo limited before Deku did, because all Deku limiteds are with someone else. Oh, right. The other Deku is technically <laughs> with Aerie. That's right. Yeah. yeah. And all the other Dekus are um, co- uh, collab or uh, with All Might, so <laughs> yep, he does not funny. actually have a solo. The, fun- the the thing I've noticed, though, is that the reason why I think some of the weirdness with My Hero's release is that they're going in order of arc. That's why it's been so weird. That's also why... Yes, I think that makes it, sense. It does, but it also creates, like, really weird... That, that's why Endeavor in, like, his uh pre number one hero phase is a limited. Yeah, back when he's just, like, a weirdo in the sports festival, like, dressing room. Yeah, it's kind of like, that's the reason why we have that version of Endeavor, is that they're actually slowly going through the arcs as we go forward, because, like, yeah, we have the overhauls, we have, like, a lot of stuff from kind of, the only thing we're really missing from the old ones is, like, specific units, 
But at, to be honest, they can release some of them at any point because they don't really do much in the early days other than have like a really silly power and then they kind of go away for a bit. Um, so yeah, it really seems like they're actually following arc by arc. So if we go by that, then that means that the next limited would have to be one of the have to be one of the villains, right? From the from the villain arc that follows. Uh, this oh, from my villain, yeah, my, my villain, villain academia. That's right. Because we don't have yeah, I can fucking see that. Uh, Doofenshmirtz yet in the game. <laughs> so, so <laughs> no, he, we has don't. To, he has to be showing up. And that means that we would have to get a limited villain, which would probably be... Would it be Shigaraki? I feel... Mm. Uh, I could see it being like Ultra Shiggy. Like Ultimate Shiggy. Mm, the ultimate form of Shiggy. Definitely could see something like that. So that's something that I'm saying, that I finally saw. Which I think is why also some of the why Demon Slayer got such a weird thing is that Demon Slayer is over. So they don't really have to care all that much. The only thing they have to really do is that occasionally release a unit whenever they get a highlight in the anime and then they're good to release whatever. And One Piece is just so long that they couldn't do that. So because My Hero started relatively close to when Jampudi did, they were better to... They had a they have a plan basically is what I'm saying is that it feels like my hero has a weird plan that's been there since the beginning of the game that no other series really follows. Yeah, that is weird. Yeah. Which is it's strange to think about, but now that I've seen it like that, I'm like, holy shit, that's why there's so many like kind of old manga units, because they're kind of following it that way, but so yeah, that's uh that's Bongo. We can at least talk about him. You're gonna be pulling for him because he's your boy. Yeah, I'm going to get him purely just because, like, he's the one My Hero character that I like in general. Like, I just think he's cool. I think his powers are cool. And I think his old animation in this game is fucking slams. It's really cool. So I'm going to get him to have him, but I don't don't even know if I'm going to use him that much. I'll probably put him on my PvE team just to fuck around. Yeah, just kind of fuck around and do stuff. I will continue to save because... uh... Other, other than his animations being really cool and fun, don't really feel too strongly about Bakugo these days. Like I said in previous, it's currently at indifference levels. <laughs> so I am hope the people who go for him go for him. But for me, I'm going to probably keep saving and see what's next, which I think we've already discussed what was next. It's going to be Golden Week, so we'll see what it is. Uh, maybe Dragon Ball? Hopefully, I don't know. The, the put out Golden a... Week makes sense for Dragon Ball anyway, because like Super Saiyan. Yeah, but that means it's gonna be Demon Slayer. Ah, uh, don't don't say that. Someone <laughs> said that. I think someone in the comments said that Demon Slayer might be for August. Actually, let me see if I can. Oh, the the ten ten thing. No, I think no no. They were talking about K and B. My bad. And then they said, "Oh shit, sorry." Oh I, oh I yeah. The that... part. Yeah, we figured that yeah. out. So no, we still don't know when Demon Slayer would show up at some point. But you're right. What ha- what happens is that Demon Slayer will destroy whatever plans I was hoping for. <laughs> but we'll yep. see. As soon as you get like excited that something might be coming, it's gonna be Demon Slayer instead. Don't don't make me sad. I need another Goku in my life. I need this gacha to release more uh, Goku so I can finally get rid of Dokkan. My my Goku rationale finally at its peak. <laughs> they could do that's a trio, fair, yeah. Do a trio unit because it's Goku, uh, Gohan, and Gotende. Just release all three of them and do the father son. Ah, uh, that would be so cool. The family coming home. Yeah, that sure would slam. Would be. I I'm hoping that we get a transforming Super Saiyan one Gohan. That when you transform him, he goes Super Saiyan two. Oh, that'd be pretty good, especially if they include the fucking uh, <laughs> the Android sixteen head. <laughs> so his little chibi head gets destroyed every single time <laughs> yeah and then like you could have him do a masenko or like a, a kamehameha in the regular form and then when he transforms he does the father son one oh, that'd Should be, be cool because cool. uh, there's only one cell and there's only one uh super saiyan gohan which is in the super saiyan 2 form so definitely yep. could and see that the happen. gohan it's old it's super old super old so they're obviously waiting for something. They obviously made this mechanic and said, like, we know who's coming up. <laughs> yeah. If that's, if that's true, then that would be there would be dueling Cell Saga because it would be Gohan in <laughs> do- regular Dokkan. And it would be Gohan over here. <laughs> Do- <laughs> God, this Super Saiyan 2 Gohan came out in... It came out three years ago. Three years, three months ago. 
Jesus, that's a long time. Yeah, that, at at this point, it's due at some point. <laughs> they had to have figured yeah. out uh, we're going to release another limited Gohan, and it has to be kind of soon. Other than that, I would like something. Yeah, Dragon Ball would be the new thing for me. But we'll see and we'll wait and see. But that's a mini uh, Jampooty Jams, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. Because uh, it's so short, I can actually la- ask for likes because I can guarantee you that if you made it this far that you're dedicated. <laughs> Unlike <laughs> Jampooty, regular Jampooty Jams where I go like, you know what? Leave it if you want. Knock and ask for it. <laughs> do, what's your, do what you do. But if you made it this far, leave a like. It helps a whole bunch. And you can see the main big series whenever you can that those episodes aren't going away anytime unless copyright takes some of the the other ones that used anime ops in which case the you're shit out of luck on that one <laughs> i'm gonna have to figure out a way to find them again but that's it that's everyone. fair that's fair we'll see you guys next time say goodbye zen goodbye everybody <laughs>